Chapter 2 Subject and Predicate We have just read about a sentence. Now, let us step forward to know more about a sentence. The monkey is like a man in shape. The monkey, this is the subject, is like a man in shape. This is the predicate. The name of a person, place or thing that we speak about is the subject. What is said about the subject is the predicate. Every sentence tells us about someone of something, what they are and what they are doing or what it is all about. To identify this, we divide the sentences into two parts. Example 1. Aeroplane flies high in the air. What flies in the air? Subject. Aeroplane. What does it do? Predicate. Flies high in the air. 2. Wild animals live in the jungle. Who live in the jungle? Subject. Wild animals. Where do animals live? Predicate. Live in the jungle. 3. The children ate the fruits. Who ate the fruits? Subject. The children. What did the children eat? Predicate. Ate the fruits. 4. The teacher taught the children. Who taught the children? Subject. The teacher. Whom did the teacher teach? Predicate. Taught the children. 5. Tony bought a bicycle. Who bought a bicycle? Subject. Tony. What did Tony buy? Predicate. Bought a bicycle. From the above examples, we come to know that in a sentence, a person or a thing who does the action is called the subject. The rest of the sentences is called the predicate. Subject is usually placed in the beginning of a sentence. But it does not mean that any word in the beginning is always a subject. Subject can be placed in the end also. 1. Refill all the empty bottles. In this sentence, bottle, the subject, is in the end. 2. Up went the balloon. In this sentence, balloon, the subject, is in the end. 3. Brush your teeth. In this sentence, teeth, the subject, is in the end. Subject in an imperative sentence. Finish your food. Run fast. Go to bed. Hurry up. These are imperative sentences. What are subjects in these sentences? All these sentences actually mean You finish your food. You go to bed. You run fast. You hurry up. But you is not stated. It is understood. These sentences have subjects before the verbs. In interrogative sentences, the subject comes after the helping verbs. 1. Has the train arrived? 2. Is Mickey unwell? 3. Are the kids sleeping? 4. Are the boys playing? 5. Is there any teacher in the class? To find the subject in such sentences, we have to ask questions like Who is unwell? Mickey here, Mickey is the subject. Who is sleeping? Kids. Here, kids are the subject. Who are playing? Boys. Here, boys are the subject. Who is there or not? Teacher. Here, teacher is the subject. 